Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all don't put those stockings away just yet. Stay tuned. So if you were celebrating Christmas, I hope that you did have a very enjoyable and pleasant Christmas day. If not, no matter how you chose to spend Sunday, December 25th, I hope that it was a great day for you as well. And just a reminder, I'm having a blowout after Christmas sale today, December 26th, and tomorrow, December 27th, on my website. So make sure that you check it out because we're talking about 55 to 65% off of items on that site. So make sure that you check back over the course of the two days because I am trying to add new items here and there. So when I shared in a recent video the stockings that I found at the Dollar Tree, it prompted a whole lot of comments from you guys, especially this one. Today's video is inspired by those comments. A lot of you love the glittery, festive look of this stocking, and you mentioned that it would make a great bag for going out for the evening, spending New Year's Eve. However you wanted to use it, it would make a great little novelty bag. So I thought, let me see if I can spruce this up to make it something really cute that I would carry if I was going out. Now, I'm personally not going out anymore, y'all, but back in the day, I could get down with the best of them. But today, if I get down, I probably can't get up. So it's probably best if I leave the going out to others, but I will share with you this sweet little bag that I was able to make from this stocking. Maybe that'll serve as an inspiration for a bag that you might be thinking about making to take out for a night on the town. I'll give you a closer look at my bag in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So you can see how the glitz and the glam of this particular bag might make you think about a night out, a fun festive night out. A lot of people go out for New Year's Eve and they might want something a little bit different from the norm, just a little bit of bling to dress up that outfit. This isn't something that would be a long-term use item, but it would make a perfect novelty item for the evening. So I am going to show you what I made. So I added a chain handle to this one and it's a shorter chain handle and I found the chain handle in my own closet. So what I do is when I have an old outdated bag or it's worn out, if it has a nice handle on it, I actually remove the handle before I toss the bag and I remove the hardware from that bag as well because I know that we can use it in our crafting. So I have a lot of handles and hardware from bag which is a good thing because this chain handle works beautifully with this bag. And then I have this pom-pom garland that I showed you guys last year. When I saw it in the store, I didn't buy it as Christmas tree garland or home decor garland. I bought it because it had so many of these pom-poms on it. I think there might've been about 35 pom-poms and I thought the pom-poms would be great for projects, whether I kept them in the natural color of white or I decided to dip and dye them, they would be perfect in my project. So instead of making my own pom-poms, when I saw these in the store, they were already pre-made. So I thought they would be perfect to just add to my stash and use as I need it. And of course I bought these when they were on sale. So I did not pay much for these at all. I think the original price was $14.99 and I got them at one of the deep, deep, deep discounts. So I paid next to nothing for those pom-poms and I added a pom-pom right here on the chain so that it sort of dangles over. Then I wanted a way to close the bag so that it couldn't be opened by someone I didn't want to open it or they wouldn't be able to reach in and take anything out. So what I did, some of you will remember these. I showed you guys a whole bunch of these a while back that I got from Hobby Lobby and I got these I believe when they were either 50 maybe 60% off on clearance, I can't remember, but they were at least 50% off because I never would have paid these prices. But these are just decorative pins or brooches. I thought that something like this would really dress up my bag while serving as a closure. So I am just going to bring this a little bit closer because I want you guys to see this little guy. It's a fox. He has a nice little gemstone body and then he has a faux diamond tail. And I think that you can probably see that glitz and that shine, but it works so well with this bag. And then I have it so that it closes. I'm using the pin portion as my closure. So if I was going out, I would actually 
close my bag with this and then as I need it to, all I have to do is unpin to open and repin. For me, unpinning and repinning wouldn't be a big deal. If it is a big deal for you and you don't want to use a pin, there are probably so many other closure ideas that you can think of to use on this. You can even use those adhesive Velcro strips on the inside so that you'll have it nice and tight and secured. But this little bag is big enough to hold my phone. I can drop my ID in here as well as some cash or a card and I'm good to go for the evening. So I probably spent more time talking about this than it's actually going to take to make it. But let's make it. So here is some of that leftover chain and all I'm going to do is I really don't want this part. Some of you might want to keep that part on yours. I don't. So all I'm going to do is take two needle nose pliers, put them on one end of the link and spread that link and remove that piece. So now I have my link, but of course I would save this because I'll be able to use it somewhere else down the road. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my scissors and we're going to cut across and remove the footy part from this. And so now I can go ahead and remove this part and this part. And here's my stocking. I am just going to turn it inside out. And now I'm just going to take some glue and we're just going to run a bead of glue across the bottom like that and then I'll just press down. This is exactly how I did the other bags that I made and we are just pressing down giving this a chance to dry and harden. And then while we have our bag inside and out, I'm actually going to use some of the felt backer to secure my chain. So all I'm doing is cutting that into a section like this. And then I'm going to take this piece and just cut it like this. The chain on that first bag that I made is extremely secure and I'm using hot glue for this whole project. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the bag and on the seam I'm going to add some glue on the inside between the camel color and the white fluffy. So I'm just going to take this like this and we're going to add some glue. Now you might have another way that you want to do this. By all means, try your way. Nothing about what I'm doing is set in stone. It's just the way that I decided to do it. So I'm going to take my chain and place it in the glue like that. And then I'm going to add some more glue. And I'm going to take this piece and just place it over that piece. So basically what I've done is I have sandwiched in the chain so that it really is not going anywhere. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of hot glue, a very thin bead, run it on the back of that piece and then I'm just going to fold it over like that. So now my chain is nice and secure on that end. We're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. This time I am going to go with the longer chain. You don't have to use a chain on this. You can use ribbon, but I decided for this one I would use the chain since it's just in my stash, not being used. Thought it would be cute on this project. So I'm just trying to unwind that chain just a little bit. So 
So now I'll open this one just like that. We're going to place our glue right there on the inside. Then I'll take my chain, place my chain in the glue like that. Bring in that other piece. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to the top. I'll take this piece. We're going to put it down just like that. And now we have sandwiched in that chain. And I'll add a little bit of glue to this piece. And now we can just fold it over. So now we have our chain handle. I can take my bag and we're just going to turn it right side out. Go ahead and just take my fingers, go all the way to the bottom. Open that. And y'all, there we have another fun and festive little bag for going out. I am just going to go ahead and grab one of my little pom-poms. This time, I think I'm just going to take the pom-pom and add just a little bit of glue to the inside and place the pom-pom on the inside like that. Give that glue a moment to set up so that I don't glue my bag together. And so now we have our little pom-pom and I am going to decide which one of these little cuties I want on here. Y'all, I love frogs, but I'm not sure if I want a frog on this one. Let's try that gator. Hmm. I don't think so. I think that this bird is calling out to me, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to take the bird, and I'm just going to hook him on oh, like this. So let's see how he looks. So what do you think of the bird? I like it. I think the bird looks really cute on there. So how simple was it to make this bag? If you're going out for the evening and you have some of those glam glitz stockings, they have them in pink. I think they had them in blue, but I only got the gold. But go ahead and pull them out and make yourself a cute little evening bag complete with your own decorative elements. So I have brought this one back in so that you can see we have a shorter handle and here we have a longer chain. But both of these are just absolutely stinking cute and a great way to wrap up crafting using any type of a Christmas item or an item that was promoted for Christmas. This is a great way to take that item and turn it into something that'll be useful if you or someone you know happens to be going out for New Year's Eve. Why not gift them one of these? I think that they will absolutely enjoy it. So guys, I hope that you have liked another way that we can take those stockings and create these cute little bags. Also, look through your old purses that you might be about to throw out. Remove the handles and the hardware because they might come in handy later. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's really fun little project. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. 2023 is going to be a great year for us. So as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.